Hello, hello everybody, DTX720 here, and we are back with another episode of Pokemon Sword. In the last episode, all of you guys seen, if you watched, that we we fought against and alongside we fought alongside Zashin and Samson to, to take down Eternatus. And kind of to an extent take down Chairman Rose and Oleana. Oleana is a psychopath. So is Chairman Rose. Hi guys! Thanks! Alright, well... So we need to make our way back to the stadium. We're gonna do so. We're just gonna take this nice little pipey pipe here. I don't know what I just clicked on. I Sometimes I click buttons way too fast before reading. And that is my own to my own detriment. The last episode, man, was it so epic. That was like the most epic... One of the most epic Pokemon moments in a very long time for me. Hey look, it worked out! I don't know if we're all healed up, but we're gonna go to the Pokemon Center and heal up anyway. And we'll do a quick little summary of our Pokemon. We can see them all right here while I'm healing them up. Yeah, baby. I've always wondered how does how does Nurse Joy get out of there? She you're just gonna make this woman climb over the counter? Like these guys have doors. This poor lady just doesn't have a door. She just stuck in there <laughs> anyways let's do a quick little summary of our pokemon yeah we have everybody is about is level 64 except for santa scorch who is 65 right now we got everybody going on here everybody's doing a great time we got toxtricity dreadnought corviknight santa scorch rilla boom and Hatterene. I love all my Pokemon so much. Like this team. I constructed a really great team. And uh, Pokemon Sun, Sun and Moon. I did not construct a great team. I picked base, like pretty much off of Pokemon that just looked really cool. And then in Sun and Moon, they like did a bunch of weird stuff with evolving with all the Pokemon I had. So like it was like I couldn't evolve half of them until like the later half of the game. It was bad. But we got a really nice team in this game. So excited right off the heels of catching Eternatus. Like, that was so epic. But we are about to take on the champion now. I'm ready. We are going to fight Leon, guys, today. DTX, Leon, Leon, DTX. <laughs> Man. Oof. Here I come. And there's Leon. Hello, sir. Are you ready for the showdown we were supposed to have before I turned this rock to this place up? My matches are always sold out, but this, I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows about what you did this week, DTX. They know that you're the one who caught a Turnitus and saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside legendary Pokemon Zacian and, and Zamazenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. <laughs> now that I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you into dirt will show everyone just how strong the champion truly is. Come on, DTX. Let's make this a match that'll go down in Galar history. No, a match that'll go down in Galar forever! We're going to have an absolute battle. I didn't read what that last thing he said was, but... You are a cocky SOB, and I'm ready to destroy you, Leon! Oh my god, guys, are you ready for the epic battle that is this? Leon! You are challenged by Champion Leon! Champion Leon sends out Aegislash! Oh cool, so he let out with Aegislash. So, we're perfectly, we're perfectly cool with, with Santa Scorch right now. Santa Scorch, it was a good call putting Santa Scorch in the front here. Nice. We're a little bit, we're a little bit higher leveled than, than he is, but... Let's see how much of a difference that's going to make. Protected itself. Okay. 
Don't mind my phone going off in the background during this epic encounter. Shut up, phone! So he protected himself. Scouting us out a little bit. Oh my goodness. Is he dead? Super effective hit. Did I kill it? Did I kill oh no, he's not dead. Die, please. Stance change. Okay. Oof. He's gonna hurt me now. Shadow Ball. How much is this gonna hurt? Ooh, that Shadow Ball animation is pretty crazy. It like moves all slow, like, uh, reminded me of Reptile for Mortal Kombat. You know, his green uh, acid balls that travel really slowly. And of course he healed himself up. Smack you! Haha, <laughs> now he's dead. He wasn't in defense form anymore, so we were able to kill him right there. Hell yes. Okay. Toxtricity is back on par with everybody else. Seismitoad. We're gonna get out of there. Seismitoad will hurt us. And then we're gonna go into Rillaboom! Rillaboom should take out Seismitoad very easily. Seismitoad is a ground water type. So Rillaboom will take him out. Seismitoad! Oof, this is... This is a battle of brutes right here. Look at this, this pimply frog. Pimple frog! I'm gonna get beat by a drum, pimple frog. I'll pop all you little pimple, your little warty wart pimple pimples. Get out of here! Sazmatoad has fainted. Come on, Leon, this is supposed to be the champion's battle, bro. Cinderace! Oh, yeah, he has Score Bunny. Because me and Hop, it was the one that me and Hop didn't have. Um. Okay. Cinderace. Looks like we're going into Dreadnought. I'm gonna have to straight up hit him with Liquidation. Or maybe Stone Edge? Stone Edge would hurt him too. But what would be the best approach? Because we might miss Stone Edge. Be safe. Let's just hit liquidation. Acrobatics, okay. It's gonna hurt a decent amount. Well, actually, didn't do that much. Liquidation, will it kill immediately or will he stay alive? It killed immediately, nice. Good thing we didn't risk a Stone Edge because it would have missed. So we didn't need to risk Stone Edge. Everybody else is getting up to level 65, it looks like. Except for Corviknight and Hatterene. Okay. Haxorus. Axorus. Hmm. Let's go into Corviknight. So we could stay in on Haxorus. But I believe Haxorus... Haxorus by level up learns steel moves. And I don't really want to get hit by an Iron... Dreadnought doesn't want to get hit by Iron Head. It might be faster than it, but I don't know. Um... Okay. I think Corv Knight should be able to take him though. Let's scout it out with a uh, with a steel wing. Yeah, okay, used outrage. That's gonna hurt. Okay, didn't hurt too much. Scout him out with a steel wing here. Do some decent damage, and then I think we'll kill him off with Brave Bird. Oh, we just just don't get crit. Ouch. Okay. Corviknight, uh, don't get recoiled too much by Brave Bird, alright? Just don't take too much recoil. Kill! Oh, he lived! Oof. Okay. I guess let's just hit him with something. Just body press or something. Hit himself! Hit yourself! Hit yourself! No, he used Outrage again! Ooh, I live though. So he is gonna die. Good job, Corviknight. You did good. So I could have stayed in with Dreadnought and used the Ice Fang, because he is a Dragon type, but I do want to be very careful. Because I believe Leon might have a lot of Dragon types here. 
Dragapult. Okay, we're gonna switch out. Or should we not? You know what, we're gonna stay in. If Dragapult's faster than us, depends. I don't know if he's, we're faster, if he's faster than us. But we're gonna give him a last ditch Brave Bird. No, he's faster. Okay, and he has Flamethrower, so he killed us. Damn it. Alright, we should have switched out. Alright, that's okay though. No, F you. Stop talking to me, Leon. Okay, so he took one of our men. But it wouldn't be a champion's battle if he didn't. So Dragapult is actually like a super awesome Pokemon. Like I really wanted uh, Dragapult. Um, I wanted to have him in my playthrough, but I, I I really like the team that I have, and I didn't want to replace anybody with Dragapult. Even though Dragapult is like probably like my favorite Pokemon that I've seen in Sword and Shield. Oh, damn, he has Thunderbolt, and he's faster than me. Oh, no, Dreadnought, live! Okay, okay, so we used Ice Fang. Don't miss. Okay. So this will hurt him. It didn't kill, though. Ooh, it didn't kill. It didn't kill. Oh, no, it didn't It didn't kill. <laughs> oh, Dreadnought's dead. Okay. Damn it, okay. We got decent damage, though. Ooh, that's not good. It's not good. All right. We're gonna go to Hatteran, eh? Hatterene will be able to take him, depending on if he has a move that's gonna hurt us. I'm pretty sure he might know. Oh, he might know like Shadow Ball or something, so he might hurt us really bad. We're gonna do Dazzling Gleam. Ooh, he like knew. He knew. Please don't kill. No, stay alive. Okay, thank you, Hatterene. Dazzling Gleam will kill. Get him out of here. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Dreadnought's dead though, and I, his last Pokemon is Charizard. I'm gonna stay in, and I'm just gonna let Hatterene take a hit. I'm just gonna let Hatterene die. Well, not die, but she's gonna take the hit. Because he is gonna Gigantamax, and I'm not gonna Gigantamax her. So let's just, um, uh, Psychic? Let's just hit him with the Psychic. He's probably gonna be way, he's definitely faster than us, so he's gonna kill us. Oh god. There's the Godzilla Charizard. Ah! Char, oh my god, that Charizard, man. So dope. Holy crap. That's amazing. Oh my god. She max wildfire. Yeah, he's faster than us. Well, I'm dead. You're dead. Hatterene's dead. Dead, dead, dead. I was hoping that we would... We would, uh, maybe... We would miss it or something like that. I tried. Okay. So I think my... My next strategy here is we are going to Dynamax Toxtricity because he is, he is still a flying type. Charizard is a flying type. Come on Toxtricity, win us this champion for us, kill him in one shot. It might not kill him in one shot, but let's just hope. Toxtricity, yeah, rock on buddy. Wildfire. Oof, that hurts. How much am I gonna hurt you though? Oh, it's like the same amount. Oof. What did I just get hit by? I got burned. But I have black sludge. Okay. 
we're gonna I want to be safe and use a full star he used one so I don't care I'm gonna use one and stall him out and he'll go back to being a small little Charizard because I think this is his third turn overgrowth you know max overgrowth oh no oh it actually didn't do much why did my Xbox just turn on did you guys hear that like, why are you on Okay, well, he made a terrible decision. I guess I should have hit him because he used Max Overgrowth. Oh, is everything turning on and talking? Okay, he's back to being small. So we should... He should be dead now. He should die. He's dead now. He is dead now. Fire Blast, that's still gonna... Oh, I avoided it! Yes! He's dead. <laughs> We've done it! Holy crap. Yes. Yes! Everybody is 65 except for Santa Scorch, who's a little bit higher. Man. Thank you, Toxtricity. I'd say Toxtricity is maybe my ace. Oh, he's pissed! Oh, he smiles though. Ha <laughs> ha! My time as champion is over! But there's a new champion. Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had! <laughs> Man, and literally that's cool how I, I made it electric train just then at the end because that was electrifying. Why is my Xbox on? Son of a gun. Ah, uh, Mom and Hopper watching. Congratulations, DTX. You beat even the unbeatable champion, and you are the new champion of the Galar region. You've become the first. I uh, offer you a heartfelt congratulations. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I start looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working on improving here and now, for the sake of all that's to come. New DTX. I believe in. I believe. Uh, oh my God, they're going too fast. In the bright future, hope to see. People of Galar, here you have it. A new legend is born right before your eyes. Your champion, DTX. <laughs> wow. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. Hell yes. Aha, guys. We've done it. Oh. Oh, look. Look at the band. Hell yeah, look at the band. Playing it out. Oh. Guys, we have done it. Man. We... Is this the Toby Fox song? This one playing right now? Because they said that there's a song, uh, a Toby Fox song in Sword and Shield. I don't know. And they said it's at the end. Is this is the credit song the Tony Fox, the Toby Fox song? That's amazing. It sounds very Toby Fox-like. It's a nice remix. I don't know if this is his song, but if it is, it sounds like it. Man, look at the concert blasting on. Look, that's my real boom and talks just here right there. Those other two aren't mine, but that's them jamming right there. Yeah. My gosh, guys. What a journey it's been. What a great let's play that has been, man. Um, I'm not going to say that this is the end, because it's not. Because there's still a couple more things we're going to do. We're going to maybe do a couple more episodes of this. Although we have become the champion and the credits roll right now, I believe we still have to catch Zacian. 
and Zamazenta. But let's let these credits play out a little bit and just enjoy in, in the peace and the serenity and, you know, look at all these beautiful people's names over at Game Freak and Nintendo and everywhere else. Look, there it is, Toby Fox right there. Look. And let's, uh, let's pay our respects to these guys, to Guts. Look, there's Guts right there. <laughs> Sorry, I shook the table. Um, yeah, um, these, this game has been really great, really amazing. I love it. it. It's like a really good step toward Pokemon on consoles, and it's the first, like, big Pokemon game on console in a very long time. First, first mainline on console, I believe, we can say, because there, yeah, there was, like, other games on console, but first mainline, I believe, on console, and man, it's... It's really impressive what Game Freak did. All these people deserve, you know, deserve what they're having right now. They deserve this. Their, their credits to be shown and rolled because, man, they, they did really good. From the wild area, from all the Pokemon on the decks, to the story, to the characters. Like, this Pokemon game, I think, is one of my favorites to date. I really love the Hoenn games. I really love... Ruby and Sapphire, especially Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Those games are like my favorite Pokemon games. I think this one is uh, is right there, if not second place, because this, holy crap, has been really fun. And although we relate to the party beating it, it was it was worth taking time. It was it was nice to build up. It was worth the the time that went into it. I love. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit the mic. I love all the Pokemon that I caught, and my only regret is not having a Dragapult on my team, or a Dracoloke, a Dreepy, you know, because that Pokemon is super, super cool. Ever since I first seen it when those initial leaks for this game um, happened before the game released, and that Pokemon I immediately wanted on my team, but it's fucking Define Dreepy, Dracoloke, Dracapult, it's really hard to find them. It really is. Oh, look at all those. <laughs> it's really hard to find the... Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys, so much. It's really hard to find Dreepy and Dracoloke in the wild area. <laughs> Woo lose. You're a little late there, buddy. <laughs> the end. the end of the story but it's not the end for us let's go back into it look at this see I knew there was more I knew there was more to come alrighty guys I think that's gonna do it for this episode um we beat the champion and I think we're going to do one more episode, maybe two. Um, we're going to go out there and we're going to catch Zamazenta or Zacian. I can't remember which one, uh, which one's for my game. I think Zacian actually is, is my version, the one with the sword. We're going to go out there. We're going to catch him. The new champion of the Galar region is going to kick ass and take names. If you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, you want to suggest some Let's Plays for me to do any more games, whether that be Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, put them in the comments section down below. Hit the like and the subscribe button. You can also watch the full playlist of this all over again if you want. And I love you guys 3000. Stay tuned for more content from this channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great night.